Hello, this is Beth Skinner, the Director of the Iowa Department of Corrections, and I want to give an update on COVID-19 to the public, to our stakeholders, and to our constituents. Currently, we have 33 positive individuals incarcerated in our nine institutions, and we have eight staff. Um, this has been a, a, a decrease since the beginning of the pandemic, and let me tell you, we are gonna keep our foot on the gas to continue to contain the spread of COVID-19. It's been almost a year since COVID-19, this pandemic has hit us. And our number one goal this whole time was to keep staff and individuals incarcerated safe. And of course, contain, contain the mitigation, contain and mitigate the spread of COVID-19. We also have worked collaboratively with public health, our medical team, and been following the guidelines. Um, also, just to let you know, if you're interested in finding out more of our, about our mitigation efforts, there's other videos we have on YouTube that talks about some of our, which feels like hundreds of things that we have done around our mitigation efforts. So please watch those videos if you like to learn more. But I am very proud of our staff. They've been in the trenches. Uh, they've been wearing their face shields, their masks, their, their gloves, their gowns, depending on the situation, and have worked hard and have been committed to keeping those individuals incarcerated safe, safe as well as their staff members. They've stayed the course, and I'm very proud of them. Just so you know also, what we do on a daily basis is we have briefings. Uh, we work with our medical team, incident command, and the wardens, to constantly keep track of COVID and find even better ways and strategies to mitigate and contain the, contain the spread. We are anxiously awaiting our vaccinations, but in the interim, what we're doing is we're educating, informing our staff and those individuals incarcerated so they can make an informed decision when that time comes. One thing I will say, there's no getting around the loss of individuals incarcerated and our staff to COVID-19. That has been very difficult for us. I will say our mortality rate is 0.4%, which is lower to the, compared to the national average. And I attribute that to our medical team and our hospitals in Iowa that have stepped up to the plate to help serve these individuals that had COVID-19 that we, had, we needed their help with. So I'm very thankful for them. We know that our population um, is at its lowest it's been in the past decade, couple decades, and that we are doing everything we can to transition and safely re release individuals back into their communities. i finally like to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and thank you for your support and patience during this time Stay healthy, stay well. Thank you.